Hey everybody, Reeve here. In my college apartment room, dorm room. Yeah, uh, I know you can't see it because I have a green screen up, but trust me, it's looking fabulous. Uh, and that's why this video is late, is because I was moving in, okay? Deal with it. I know you don't care because you don't even know who I am. I don't know what, ignore that, cut that out. That's a stupid joke. Um, but yeah, so this month, this month, I made a boss for my, for the game that I've been working on. The one that you, you didn't see it because you don't, you've never seen this, these videos before, but if you did, then you already saw it. Make, made a boss for that game, you know? And you can see me blendering. You can see me blendering in the background, okay? Yeah, cool. Um, so this video is gonna feature a lot of blender. Uh, if you don't wanna watch that, I've included a timestamp so you can skip and not watch it. How great is that? Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Uh, making a boss. And I also made another enemy because um, I was trying to animate and it wasn't going very well. So I was like, fuck this shit. And I made an enemy. So yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start off by making the, uh, the boss for this game or for the level, you know? So um, basically my idea is it's gonna be a night because, you know, we're in like a dungeon or whatever. Um, but also, it's gonna be like a semi skate rink. So the boss is gonna be having it. It's gonna have like a a knight's helmet. Uh, but the boss is also gonna be wearing like two thousand skater punk esque like emo fit wear. If you, if you get what I mean. So the undershirt is gonna look like this. Um, the overshirt gonna look something like this the pants are gonna look something like this and then the shoes are just gonna be like default vans kind of um yeah and also the boss's weapon is gonna be like a green sword but also it has skates on the bottom um as you can see right now i'm trying to construct the outer shirt uh because it's kind of a weird shape i end up scrapping this one because i don't like how it turned out uh, and end up making a diff entirely different one. All right, so here you can see the final product of the blendering. Um, I changed the model's uh, parts into different colored materials that we can see. Tank top, helmet, shirt, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, now I'm gonna go into an armature. So I'm gonna make the simple armature just to, uh, to rig it. This isn't gonna be the final armature, it's not gonna be the final rig, it's not gonna be final anything because it's not even the final model. Um, I'm just, you know, practicing and shit. Uh, I did a lot of armature stuff when I did a lot of my, uh, my Resident Evil modding. So I'm, uh, I'm decently familiar with armatures and rigging. However, I did forget to put in the shoulder 
uh, bones for this one. Uh, so you'll see that it's a little fucked up, but um, it's okay. So you can just see uh, weight painting and shit, and that's what I did. So here's the uh, the idle animation I created. Um, it's it's I did a lot more than this, but this is the best looking one. Uh, it's I'm definitely not going to be the lead animator on this project, but um, I was just wanted to practice and see how things work. So because of my mishap with the uh, the animations and how they didn't look too great, I got a little demotivated in the animating department. So instead of working on the um, the boss more. Uh, I decided to make the default enemy, so here I am just trying my best to make fingers and hands because damn it's so difficult. But uh, yeah, so for right now I'm just working on the uh, the main enemy, but uh, later I I go back to the working on the boss. So as you probably noticed, um, he's a mage guy. 
It's pretty cool. Uh, I followed a hair strand tutorial using um, curves and shit. Um, I just I just found it on YouTube. If you wanted to find it, I'm sure you could find it easily enough. But uh, basically, he just has his hair strands, his little hat, and then I'm currently making robes. Um, later, I go into uh, rigging and uh, weight painting him. That way, he can be uh, animated because my friend Ryan is uh, interested in the animation, so I just made sure to get it ready for him. So we finally made it to the actual, uh, you know, fucking uh, Unity part of the, the video. Congratulations if you made it through the Blender shit. Um, so basically I start off by importing the, the boss asset, which is just an FBX, including the animations and the armature. Um, and then in order to make a state machine, which I've never done before, uh, I'm using the animator and the animation controller to basically create a state machine. Uh, when I looked up state machine for Unity, Unity gave me this, and so I was like, this works. So the uh, the idle animation has a before and an after that runs code. Uh, I couldn't find a way to dictate what code to run just in the animator controller, so I made two blank animations, uh, each that have a, uh, a code trigger, 
that way they just play the, the, the code trigger right through, then it goes into the idle, and then it plays the code trigger again. Um, so it's just a blank animation of the code trigger. That's how I decided to uh, do that. I'm sure there's a better way, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, so now I'm working on the boss stun. So basically the boss has an animation where after it reaches the player, it does a wind up. Uh, and then f during the wind up, if the boss is hit, she's stunned for a moment or two. Um, and so this is just what I'm working on right here. Alright, and here's the final state machine, so it enters into the before, then it goes into the idle, and then it goes into the after, uh, and then when it reaches the player, it does the wind up, and then finally it, uh, it, it does the attack, unless of course it gets stunned, as you just saw. Uh, and then once I got that working, I just made a, a quick makeshift boss bar. Uh, basically, what the, the code is really simple. It takes the the health, the current health of the boss, divides the uh, the max health, gets a percentage, and then it sets the uh, the the transform of the red part of the bar to the uh, to the percentage. That way, whenever the health goes down, so does the bar, as you can see here. So you can have a cool boss battle. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I did this month. I also moved in. Um, if he jumps on the screen screen, no, no, no. <laughs> no. So yeah, I moved in. I did this shit. Um... And there's more to come. I don't, I got nothing to say really. This was pretty, is what it was, was what it is, you know? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, I don't know, put this shit on in the background and did something else. Um, I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs>